Doktor Soruyu kliniğinde uzman doktorlardan önemli bilgiler almaya devam ediyoruz. Lord Shipley'inde bulunan klinik anında randevu alma imkanı sunuyor. Bunu hatırlatmak istiyoruz. Konuşma ve dil terapisti Lucy Genova önemli bir konuyu gündemine taşıyor efendim bu hafta. Kekeleme. Kekeleme problemi çekenler kliniğe ulaşabilir ve uzman ellerden destek alabilir. Hi, I'm Lucy Genova, speech and language therapist, and I work with doctors for you every Saturday. Today I will talk about stammering. Stammering is a speech disorder that presents like in, in repeating sounds and or syllables. It sounds like mum 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 mummy. That's one presentation of, of stammering, but it may also present, it looks like the sounds is made longer, like mummy. Sometimes a word gets stuck or doesn't even come out. And that's how stammering is presenting. Stammering varies in severity from person to person, from situation to situation. It also can vary within the time frames. So somebody who stammers may stammer for a long time and then it may get into a period when the stammering will just disappear and then will appear again. What we call developmental stammering, that appears in early childhood, when the child develops speech and language. The brain then goes through a really, really intensive changes, which may impact the way the child learns to speak. And, and obviously, stammering can appear that in that moment. Now I'll tell you a little bit more why in a few seconds. Uh, and the other type can occur when um, in later age, when the child is in, in their teens or in, in adulthood. It can happen as a result of brain damage, injury, stroke, any progressive neurological conditions as well may, may impact. It can also be a result of, of some drugs, medication, some psychological or emotional trauma. We're not 100% sure what causes uh, stammering, but we know there is an inherited factor that may impact uh, somebody. When I'm saying that, I'm not saying stammering can be inherited. We inherited the type of neural system and the way and how efficiently the speech area of the brain is, is working. When the speech develops, this is a complex uh, process and involves communication between different areas in the brain. So they need to work together in a really precise way, but they also need to work together with the muscles involved in, in the speech. If even one of those parts fails to work in a very coordinated, precise way with the rest of them, that may be a reason for, for stammering sometimes. As the brain continues to develop, stammering may resolve, and this is the reason why we see sometimes kids just stop stammering. However, some kids cannot overcome that, uh, and they will need therapy. The therapy is, it, it will be different for different people. That will depend what kind of stammering it is, what's the best strategy that the child responds to. It may last a couple of months, but it may last even years. Sometimes it may disappear after treatment, it just stops forever. But unfortunately, it can be a case of when you, it, it comes back after some time. We know that there is a difference in, in boys and girls, and unfortunately boys are known to struggle from stammering a lot more often than girls. If you have, if you have any related concerns, please call Doctors for You and book a consultation with me.